Seven. Again. Very, very, very. This is the training ground of FC Hola, the first Somali summer professional soccer team in the U.S. Hey, work on transitioning, better transition as a team, come on! The story of FC Hola is one of brotherhood. Sacrifice. There was no funding, no support. It was just us. And overcoming obstacles. Good job! FC Hola is the first Somali Samar professional team in the greater Seattle area. Hola means fire in Somali. And it was that spark that ignited five years ago among a group of friends, propelling their passion and dedication to bring FC Hola to where it is today. So Hola was formed because uh, to keep the kids away from the street and uh, make them engage and be more active. Our first initiative was to uh, make this team uh, for the sake of coming together as brothers and doing the thing that we love most, and that is playing football or soccer. And uh, after we did that, we realized our potential and what we could do as a team. I was there when it was built, and I was one of the first guys that uh, actually like started this with one of the guys that are right now in the management, and also some of them are players as well. So there's a lot of leaders and I was one of the first guys that was there helping out. And we started from the Sunday League and I was one of the first players that actually accepted to play for Ola. First we used to play pickup games and it was the team had a more vision than pickup games. So they want to inform a team. So that's the reason I joined this team. I have been into their shoes. Uh, when I was at their age, I didn't have that type of leadership above me. This is coach Abdullahi Aynan, the current coach of FC Hola, known by his nickname Coach Klopp. He earned his moniker for his admiration of Jurgen Klopp and being an avid supporter of Liverpool FC. However, despite his love for the club, Coach Abdullahi's laid-back coaching style contrasts the fury approach typically associated with the Liverpool manager. Just be respectful. You follow somebody, it's part of game. Just pick up, we continue. All right? We're backing each other up. The only way we're going to talk to each other is if we have something positive to say. In the beginning, the team lacked resources and funding, and players, despite being students with limited funds, had to pay out of their pockets to support the team. When we started this, uh, everything was coming out from our pocket until last year. There was no funding, no support. It was just us. Most of the players were actually students at that moment, and nobody had any financial support, and we had um, less players from the beginning no commitment to the team and nobody ever believed in the team. It's definitely not easy uh, running a team. Uh, I think uh, our coach Abdullahi can speak of that. Um, he's put so much work and effort into this team and uh, we're so grateful for it. And you know, it's not only the practices, the games, it's what goes behind it. And uh, Fatah and Abdullahi has, along with myself, have um, really shouldered that uh, workload over the past five years. Players saw the coaches giving their all while volunteering and not getting paid. This is what led to their strong sense of respect for their coaches and leadership. There is a huge respect among uh, us. That's why I am putting the time I am because uh, I see how much they respect me. By being our close friends, especially the leaders of the team, they have done a great job by being very close friends and more of a family and making sure that we are at the right track. The team's consistent field schedule was often disrupted due to lack of resources, resulting in them being kicked out despite booking the field many times in advance. Oftentimes what happens is uh, we book the field for uh, a whole month and uh, 
we have a booking, it's obvious, we're supposed, we show up, we want to be there, practice, but then some other privileged uh, neighborhood kids show up and uh, they, they, they prioritize more over us and it's a simple of, uh, it shows uh, the, the institutional discrimination in the United States. And this is why the team reached out to Mohammed Abdi to become the team's president. He's also, at 24, became the youngest council member to ever elected into the city of Tukwila. My role as team Hola uh, president is to help support the brothers, use my resources, but not only just use my resources, but to try to have the community to support and be behind the team. Uh, we need as much you know, exposure as we can. Uh, it's a beautiful support, and every team always needs their fellow you know, residents and their you know, constituents to help support, you know, because without that, we can't really go far. Despite their early struggles, the team never lost its motivation. When I first got introduced to Team Hula, you know, Hula has been going on since 2018, you know, organized by a lot of great brothers. And uh, these brothers uh, that I've had the pure joy of getting to know, they had to overcome a lot of struggles. They came from nothing. Uh, they started playing on a Saturday, Sunday league, um, you know, across the region. And uh, after five years later, we just now got to have the opportunity to be in the fourth division of soccer. Uh, to, you know, a, a, a league called the UPSL League that um, also embarks on over 350 teams across the country, six teams in our, in our, in our state, and uh, we never had smart representation. Uh, so, you know, it speaks volumes. You know, these brothers, mashallah, they have put in a lot of sweat, a lot of tired and workless hours, a lot of just, just dreaming, you know, and just not giving up. They didn't have the funds. They didn't have the support that they needed, you know. Uh, but they did not give up, and that's the beauty of life. You don't give up on um, the dreams. When no one sees it, you have to believe it for yourself first before anybody else. Their success stories are truly inspiring, including their memorable victories at the 2020 tournament as underdogs and the 2022 Toronto Somali Soccer Week tournament. During COVID uh, 2020, one of the most memorable experience I remember was the 9v9 tournament we were playing in the summer and how I think we were the underdogs. Uh, we practiced at that Thai field since we started uh, the team and everybody thought we wouldn't even go out of the group stage and we ended up winning that tournament. So nothing more was memorable to me than winning the first trophy as a team. The proudest moment, I would say, is like where we uh, won a, a, our first trophy. You know, it was something that we meant a lot to me and a lot to the players, especially the coaching staff. One thing that uh, made me proud was the, the brotherhood they have. As a, they do everything as a family. They are united. They go fight as a team. Zahra Farah the executive director of Somali Community Services of Seattle, remembers when she first met FC Hola. FC Hola, because we've been hosted a lot of games and always uh, with the team, and that's when we have the, all the teams, and then the one who become uh, who the winners. Sahara and her organization has been serving the youth of South King County for over three decades. You know, to give it back, because when I was a kid too, I used to be the same as them, I used to play in basketball. And it's always the people when they grow up, they always give back to the community. And when I see the young people or our community, I always love to be helping and support. And I'm always there with them, no matter it's a basketball, soccer game, and a lot of youth. And I always want to be the youth has to be a safe place. And sports is only the one they always love to be coming together and to get a place that they don't have a place to go. So I always love to be supporting any team who's doing it. I always be there for them. FC Hola has always been an inclusive team, offering opportunities to players of all backgrounds, including non-Somalis. Musa is from Senegal. He shared how the team made him feel like family and how it helped him develop his skills. Yeah, all like FC, it means a lot for me. It's like a family. So the first time we come to US, we joined this team. It's been like uh, three or, or four years ago. Musa, Musa, move the ball. Oh, number five with Musa. 
So inclusiveness is very big part of uh, Hola, to our, especially to our success right now. Uh, we accept all type of people, all type of different background. James, come on, listen to composition. I know you. I know you're happy to be between people. The coaches placed a strong emphasis on discipline, hard work, and player development. One thing I look for is the attitude. If you if you bring the right attitude. Uh, usually often I make an announcement a day before our practice and I tell everybody to bring the right attitude because the way you practice is the way you're going to be in the game. I think we are starting to get it. At the beginning it was a little tough because, you know, it's like baby steps. I always tell them like, it's like a child, you know, the first time they come to earth, they come to, they're born, they don't laugh, you know, they don't laugh. They're not like talking to you, hey, they have to cry. I always tell them it's tough, it's tough and it's, it's, it's going to be rough, it's going to be ugly, it's going to be, it's going to be weird. But the more we do it, the more we practice it, the more we get better at it. Now we're starting to get the ideology, we're starting to get the philosophy, we're starting to get the movement in. You, as you can see right now, they just celebrated a goal, like a minute ago. We use the same tactics here that we use in games. And we challenge each other. We're doing a full field scrimmage right now. We're challenging each other to, come, to use the ideas we learned today to pull it off in a scrimmage and then hopefully pull it off in a game on Saturday. The senior players, such as Ahmed Ibrahim, took on the role of mentoring the young players, which helped foster a strong sense of brotherhood within the team. I just, um, you know, just bringing the, uh, my experience to them, you know. I've been been in Seattle for a very long time, been in uh, a lot of tournaments, you know. Um, I'm just here just uh, showing the, the, the young guys the, the right of way, you know, to lead and, uh, you know, just to be in the community and just, you know, show them how teamwork, you know, actually works. I feel like they helped me a lot with everything, you know, improving as a player. I grew up from being academy to a whole lot, and then now playing a semi-professional. It helps me a lot because, you know, as a family, friends, we always be there each other when we need it, you know. It's always like that community, like that friendly and like that brotherhoodness. That's what I like about it. Thanks to their hard work and dedication, FC Hola was invited to join the UPSL Semi-Professional League. The commissioner of the United States Premier Soccer League reached out to our coach, uh, Abdullahi, I think around 2021. And then on, there was a proposal at our table to join this league. Uh, we've been contemplating ever since. We've been, we did research on the team. And uh, at the end, um, we decided that we should embark on this team, on this uh, new journey and um, make our effort on, on competing in this league. It was a significant milestone for FC Hola, as it marked the first time a Somali soccer team participated in a semi-professional league. It means a lot for us, to be honest, because uh, yeah, it just shows you that uh, all the hard work, the sacrifice, everything paid off. Uh, definitely, it's the fourth division in the United States, and it's a big step. The main focus of my my team and the management is not about a challenge. It's about we have to break the system first. We never, we never had any Somali team to play in uh, semi-professional. Semi I know what they always go through a long way, and I know they're proud of to be there. And I'm so always be admire uh, the great job they do it and, and wonderful thing that they always do. Upon my visit with the team, even with the minimal resources they had, it is evident that they are ready for the next level. UBSL is exciting, and I'm ready for it. And I can't wait to join. All the players prove that, that they can play there. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a challenge, new challenge for us, especially where we are going and heading right now. So there's a lot of obstacles on our way. But we will always, you know, like where we started, we always faced it, a, a challenges like this. And that's why we are right now where we are. It's definitely not going to be easy, but we believe we have a five-year plan as a team, you know, and uh, and our long-term goal, long goal is being in this league and competing in this league at the highest level. The future for Holat should be uh, professional. We're gonna make it to professional. If not us, the next generation will definitely be a professional. Today, we are at Foster High School, the home field for FC Hullet, where the community has gathered in full force to celebrate their remarkable achievement of being promoted to the UPSL League. 
Yeah, so today was amazing. You know, we had an absolutely amazing uh, community uh, come here today. Uh, this is a historic day for us. Uh, Team Hola has never ever been in a semi-professional league. Uh, it's FIFA organized and we're the first small team in over 350 teams across the country to be in this league. So this is a very, very big deal. We're very ecstatic. You see a lot of beautiful faces here today. I have my family, my dad, you know, the community, residents, constituents, and this is what we need. More unity, more togetherness, um, because there's nothing more beautiful than that. So uh, we're really, really ecstatic. And as a president, I couldn't even be more happier, you know, to represent these guys, their vision, their goal. And uh, we're trying to take uh, Hula in new heights, inshallah. This is the first time we've seen this in America, right? Especially in Seattle. So Seattle is actually putting us on the map. A lot of people talk about Minnesota, this Minnesota, that. But this time, it's Seattle is doing it, right? So Alhamdulillah, I'm so proud of them. That means so much. And I know exactly how hard it is to become because we've tried everything in our power to play on those leagues and we didn't have the ability and the tenacity and the perseverance it takes to become what they've become. So for us, it's a, it's a, it is a, a dream come true as a community. It's not just a soccer team. It embodies the resilience and the determination of the Somali-American community in Seattle. With unwavering hard work, dedication, and the support of their community, they are constantly striving to achieve greater heights.